Africa is rising, but not everywhere, not for everybody, and in the light of extremely rapid population growth, not fast enough. Africa's population is likely to increase from more than 1.2 billion today to over 1.8 billion in 2035. By 2035, the continent's population will account for more than 20% of the world's population, but Africa's share of the global economy is only expected to rise from 3% to just under 4%. Poverty will be an African problem. By 2035, more than two-thirds of the world's poor, those surviving on less than one US dollar and 90 cents a day, will live in sub-Saharan Africa, up from close to 46% in 2017. This is if the continent grows on average around 4% per year to 2035. Africa also has the world's highest disease burden, and the average African adult attends school for less than six years, about two years below the global average. African economies need to grow much faster to reduce extreme poverty, improve health outcomes, and invest adequately in infrastructure and education. But a weaker global economy and a fall in commodity prices took a toll on Sub-Saharan Africa's more recent growth performance. Africa needs an agricultural revolution to feed its population and reduce food imports. At the same time, it needs a productivity revolution in the manufacturing and service sectors. Both will be instrumental for creating jobs. The ratio between working age individuals and the economically dependent population, mostly children, known as the demographic dividend, is changing for the better, although not fast enough. Dramatically reducing fertility rates, as seen in Ethiopia or Rwanda, for example, would speed up the onset of the demographic dividend. The demographic dividend can help Africa unlock its economic potential if governments invest in human capital. Lastly, Africa needs to expand government capacity to increase service delivery and invest in human development. This requires gradually reducing the size of the informal sector in favour of the formal economy, broadening the revenue base, improving regulatory frameworks, as well as better policies and implementation. Economic growth that addresses Africa's structural problems, including inequality, combined with greater government capacity, will also mitigate the structural drivers of conflict and violence and unlock a virtuous cycle of prosperity and development.